in the world of automotive diagnostics, Launch is one of the big names. It is one of the big names that has developed capable software and hardware. Capable software and hardware that usually would have been quite expensive to get a hold of, but recently things are changing and Launch is developing and bringing to the market products like the Launch C Reader 2.0 Elite, a product that gives access to people to their proprietary software at a much, much more affordable price with the only caveat that it will be restricted to certain brands, BMW Mini and Rolls Royce, Volkswagen Seat Audi or Skoda, or Mercedes Benz. They managed to develop a new product that looks innocent, however, is very capable. Looking at the specs, the screen is small, but it is running a 4 core 1.3 gigahertz CPU, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, 3000 milliamp battery, Android 8.1, and it is a baby version of the bigger X431 Pro. The majority of the things that that one is able to do, you are able to do with this one. You will be able to do the basic diagnostic scans, actuator testing, some basic data logging, servicing resets, some special functions with the added caveat that you need to manage all of those things with the smaller screen. I've tested this unit on three different platforms, on three different generations of BMWs. I started with the X5 3, the X5 generation, the oldest BMW that I could find. It managed to work, however I had to update the software because it gave me a strange error. One of the other tricks that I've noticed with these units is to deactivate the auto VIN function that it has. So you go in settings, automatic detection on connect, uncheck that one because if you have that one enabled usually you'll get all sorts of strange errors x5 old one everything worked according to plan the car is slow but the unit was able to to do the scanning next car that i've tested it with is the f10 the 5 series that i'm driving i managed to do the fuel system bleed i've changed my fuel filter as one of the last servicing procedures that I've done in my previous garage. More about that in another video. Diagnostics and all the other functions are a copied version of what I've experienced and what I was used to on the bigger diagnostic tool. I'm expecting that all the other things work exactly the same. I've also had the opportunity of testing this unit on a much newer BMW and I'm referring here at the G30. So I will show you on the screen the diagnostic reports with all of those vehicles. If you have one of these units and you want to access those diagnostic reports, you go settings, data, and after that diagnostic reports. This will be also one of the things that I didn't really like about the launch. The fact that the unit is heavily locked. You cannot connect with a USB cable. You don't have any settings to allow you access to this unit via a cable. So your diagnostic reports, you either share them via internet or you find them in the data area of the unit. Also, I've noticed that this unit likes to be connected to the internet. If you're doing stuff and it's struggling and if you don't have an internet connection, all sorts of errors might come about. And I would advise you that immediately after you set up this unit, you pair your phone and the unit, you make a hotspot on your phone and pair this unit with the, that hotspot so that you will have access to the internet whenever you're using it outside of the area or outside of the coverage of your Wi-Fi. You will get from time to time strange software errors. You just reinstall their software and I've noticed that those ones will be resolved. This unit brings to the market a lot of capability without having you to break the bank. It will allow you to do all of the basic stuff that you will need. So servicing resets, electronic parking brakes, DPF regions, DPF installs, new installs, so you reset all the learned values. It will allow you to code new batteries, it will allow you to check the health of your 
uh, battery or the charging system anything that you are able to do with the bigger version or with the bmw software i'm expecting it that you are able to do it with this unit big selling point the price of this unit so depending on where you're shopping for it i've seen prices from 100 pound to the one 150 160 range so you have available amazon if you don't want to take any risk ebay or aliexpress and the thing that will be appealing for the majority of users is that you do not pay any subscription or you do not pay for upgrades you have a lifetime free update option on this these units okay a very interesting product a more detailed video about all of the menus and all of the stuff will be somewhere in the description and maybe here on the screen so to conclude a very interesting proposition at an affordable price for people that do not want fancy schmancy diagnostic tools or do not work on a lot of different brands if you enjoyed this video you might also want to see this one or maybe this one thank you for watching and see you in the next one